Hello guys, so my name is Kinra and welcome back to my channel. So this video is gonna be a little bit different. I mean, first thing first, I'm not planning to do anything stupid, okay? Like, it's a clickbait, but it's not really a clickbait. Just, I think that I always want to make videos like this, you know? Like, talking to you guys like you're my friends and complaining about life. But I never do that, why? Because I always feel like on my YouTube channel, you know, it should be like entertaining, happy, shared, and positivity, right? But guess what? Today I'm gonna break the rule. I'm gonna just talk to you guys like you're my close friends. And maybe in case if you want to know me more, know my thoughts more, this video will do the job. I think like at the end of this video, you guys will probably agree with what I think. Life really sucks, man. Anyways, before I officially start this video, if you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, I really appreciate that. So long story short, in case if you don't know what I do, uh, I do YouTube videos for a living. That's like my main source of income. I make videos, I get views, and I get paid because of the advertisements that's played on my channel, right? And talking about working on YouTube, like it's such a cool thing. You don't need to go to work for someone. You don't need to like wake up early. You can just like do videos. Sometimes you enjoy doing the videos. Sometimes you don't. Okay? Okay, that's fine. But when you get views, when you go viral, you get paid. But here's what I'm gonna talk about. I hate YouTube. I really hate YouTube. Like I started YouTube by doing music, in case if you don't know. And I really love music, right? By the way, I really want you guys to help me out. I will ask you a question at the end of this video. And if you can like give me some ideas or your opinions in the comment section, I would really appreciate that. Anyways, back to that time I started YouTube doing only like music videos and like singing covers, singing songs to strangers and record their reaction, right? If you ask me like if I enjoy it or not, I actually enjoyed it much more than now because I feel like now I'm doing YouTube for living, like really, like I, I need to do something in order to get paid, otherwise I will be homeless, you know? But the problem is that I started YouTube because I had dreams. I had my music dream, right? And I didn't want to work for someone else. But now, guess what? I feel like I'm working for money instead of making my dreams come true. So I'm like struggling. And this is exactly why I hate YouTube. YouTube, I hate you a lot. By the way, I love you, YouTube. That just don't limit my views. Just don't put my channel like a worst channel out there so I don't get any views, okay? Guess why? On YouTube, that's algorithm, right? When you do videos that you usually do, for example, if you're like Mr. Beast, you're doing like all these challenges, experiences of your life, then you get views. But if you do something else, like imagine Mr. Beast suddenly do like ASMR, probably it won't get as many views as other videos, right? Because there's this algorithm on YouTube. And same as my channel, when I do like entertaining like reaction videos to some TikTok trends, you know, all of these stupid TikTok trends out there, or something that is really cringe, really funny, I get views. But as you notice on my channel, I stopped doing that like two, three months ago. Why? Because I got tired of that. Do I need money? I do need money. Do I love money? I love money. <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> but like I really need money in order to feed my cats, right? Feed my family, feed everyone, you know, yeah. My family asks money from me. That's so sad. But okay, like if I can help them, why not, right? Like my parents, I don't want them to work that much anymore. I want them to get some rest. So I would be happy to help them. Like that. anyways, that's not important. So back to this algorithm thing. I have to keep on doing the videos that I used to do in order to keep getting views. That's how I grow, right? I make TikTok reaction in order to earn money. What? You said that you were doing music on YouTube. Guess what? I was singing covers. And when you do covers, there's copyrights. Like, you really need to respect the copyright owners. People, they put efforts and time and money on producing good music and good videos out there, right? That's why all my music videos, I put a lot of time. Like, I, you know, practice, learn, record, edit, and a lot of post production thing. Still, with this amount of time and money, you won't get paid at all. Like, YouTube said that they share the revenue with you when you do some music video and that's copyrighted. Guess what? Like, I can get like 100,000 of views from the cover. I earn maybe like $2, maybe $5. Yeah, I enjoy doing that. Okay, like, I love when people are enjoying what I'm doing as well. But you gotta be real, you gotta be practical. Like, you still need money to make a living. Like, if you you keep on putting your time and stuff on these things but you don't get paid you can't leave you know that's why i switch to doing like challenges and like reaction videos why I sit here i film for three hours that can generate three videos and then those can you know keep on bringing me money because you know a lot of kids out there they love watching people getting cringe over tech trends right and exactly this is a problem i want to do things that i like 
But I won't get paid. If I do something that I don't like, people like that. I get paid. So that's why I have been struggling these past three years because I know that I always know that this is not what I want to do, but I want to earn money. Like okay, I love eating a lot. My cats love eating a lot. I have to work to get money in order to feed everyone, right? So yeah, when I try to do something different, you know, like vlogs and stuff, YouTube doesn't give me views. And I can understand that like it's not only problems of YouTube, problems of me as well. Like I don't do things good enough, right? Like, those are not the best thing that I can do. Maybe they're so boring. Maybe they're just like making videos. That's why they don't have views. Okay, I accept that. But still, I hate YouTube because I feel like if you want to do things that you like on YouTube, it's so hard. You know, like if you want to sell your soul to YouTube, then keep on making videos that people like watching. That is fine. But you know that a lot of big YouTubers they give up because they feel like they're not themselves anymore. And this is how exactly I feel. Like. I want to be known as somebody else, not like oh, you're the guy who does reaction to some TikTok trends. I don't want to be known like that. You know. And yeah. Here comes a crossroad of my life. Is that how you call it? Like, I need to make a decision. I really want you guys to help me out. Let me tell you my thoughts about what I really want to do, okay? So, in the future, I want to start developing my Chinese channel, Chinese contents. In case if you can speak Chinese, you can also check out my Chinese channel. Yeah, I won't reveal it now, but I will reveal it in the future, okay? When I make sure it's gonna work. And uh, what else? Here's the thing. Then what should I do with this main YouTube channel? It has 1.8 million subscribers. I can't just give up like this, right? I will really want to do something like this. It's risky. It's scary for me. And I've thought about this for so long. And I don't know if I should do it. I don't know what to do. I want you guys to give me some thoughts, okay? I'm thinking like if I should try becoming a full-time musician, you know, like not like the cover singer, okay? Like covers, they don't bring you money. And maybe you guys like to risk it all. And YOLO, you know, you only live once. Or should I... Do it safe way. I don't know. You guys tell me, okay? Uh, anyways, I will appreciate all your opinions, whether it's supportive or not. And yeah, once again, if you like my YouTube channel, make sure to subscribe to that Instagram here. Okay, you can get to know me more there. Shoot me any DM if you want to. Okay, like I read your DMs actually, even though I don't reply. Yeah, that's it. See you next time. Bye.